Okay, today we're going to talk about the midpoint formula. So in this example here, and this is just a setup for how do we determine the midpoint between two points. Okay, so this is a line segment. Obviously it's not horizontal and it's not vertical. But think about what if it was horizontal, right? What if it was a horizontal line? If I wanted to find the midpoint between those two points, let's just for example, if I have something that looks like this, right, horizontal line, and I have x1 and x2, and I want to find, hey, where's the middle? Well, the way you do it is, well, you take the endpoints and you add them up and you divide by 2. So if it was horizontal, if I want to find the middle, let's say, for example, if this is 1 and this is 3, and I wanted to find, okay, where's the middle? Well, the middle is halfway between 1 and 3. Well, what's, what's halfway between 1 and 3? Well, you find the distance between the two and you cut it in half, right? So the distance between these two is 4, right? And so you cut that in half and that gives you 2. So that tells you how far you have to go in to find the middle, right? So you have to go in two units to find the middle, right? And so you'd have to add that half distance or half width, if you will, to x1 to find the midpoint, okay? But another way of doing it, instead of just subtracting these two and dividing by two and trying to find the halfway point, right, and then adding or subtracting from this one, we can add these two values and then divide it by two and that will give us the value of the midpoint. So if I, in this example here, if I add the two, right, so let's do it this way. If I subtract these two, I get two, and then if I add two, right, subtr subtract these two, right, I get two, and then half of two is one, and so if I add one to one, I get two, which means the midpoint is at two, right? So that's one way, right? I could take the distance between these two and cut it in half. So I took the distance, 3 minus 1 is 2, cut it in half, oops, yeah, the distance is 2. Okay, cut it in half, it gives me this distance. So all I have to do is add to this number to get 2, right? So the midpoint is going to be 2. Or I can use the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula says, okay, instead of doing that, I can just add these two values. Let's do one and three. If I add the two values, I get four. Divide by two, I get two. And so I get the same answer, okay? So let's look at this example. So this is just a horizontal line. But let's look at an example where we don't have a horizontal line, where we, let's say we have these two points. And we have x1, y1, and we have x2, y2, and we want to find the midpoint on this line segment, and we'll call it xy, x comma y. Well, if we just look at the x's for a moment, okay, how would we find the midpoint? Well, how would we find x? Well, if we think about it this way, this x value. corresponds to the x value on this number line. This y1 corresponds to this value, right? And this corresponds to that one. And so now, if I look at the corresponding x values, isn't that the same thing as what we just did? So if I wanted to find this x value, and this, is, this turns out to be the midpoint of this x value and that x value, so if I wanted to find x, I'm going to apply the midpoint formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to add these two, so I'm going to do x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And that will give me the midpoint in the x direction. 
Okay? Now, I can do the exact same thing for the y's. So I can plot the y's right to here. And I can plot this one to here. So this will be y2, this will be y1, and then of course my y will be right there. And so what I can do is I can apply the same idea along the y-axis, and so to find the midpoint between y1 and y2, I'm going to use the midpoint formula for the y's. And so now what I get is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that will give me my x and y values respectively. And so the midpoint formula for any two points, finding the midpoint between any two points, turns out to be just this. And we're done. And that's the midpoint formula. Have a good day.